In 2013, I moved to Germany and started searching for a job. Finding my new job in a new country was not an easy task. I had to know where to search for jobs, which skills were required to be a data engineer. I had to craft the perfect resume and cover letters. Then I applied to many jobs, prepared for the interviews and learned about the important questions and it include as well many email communications. I had to do all those stuff with my third language, German, which was not easy at all, but many people helped me out at the start. But now in the age of the AI, the story is totally different. The process of searching new job has just been made easy using AI. All right, so now let's have an examples in order to understand how AI can help us searching for new job. All right, so the first step by searching for a new job is to understand where to search. So let's ask ChatGPT about that. So we're gonna write the following. What are the best platforms to search for job in Germany since I am in Germany now? So let's go. Great, so now we got a list of all platforms where we can search for a job. I know Indeed, LinkedIn, Stepstone and Xing. And to be honest, in the last 10 years, I switched between four jobs and all of them I found it using Stepstone. I don't know whether it's a luck or something, but I really like this platform. I found a lot of job there. We can ask other stuff, for example, what are the strategies for searching our job? What are the best practices? So let's see what ChatGPT is going to say about that. So we're going to ask what are the effective strategies for finding a job let's go Guys, what I can say, all those advices are golden and I cannot agree more. The first one about networking. Of course, having a solid network and relationships with people can increase your chances to find your dream job. That's why I really recommend to have a strong LinkedIn with a lot of connections to other people. Another one, it's about the resume and the cover letter. It should be perfect if you are searching for a job. Apply for multiple jobs over here. Well, that reminds me of my second job. I, I think applied over 100 jobs Parallelly. I was just sending applications like crazy. And this is from my side, I think the most important tip or advice is about searching for jobs. Just apply everywhere. So what I think about those advices, they are all great really like here, stay positive and so on. I really love this answer from ChatGPT. All right, so now let's move to the next one. Let's say that you are a junior data engineer and you want to double check what are the most in demand skills are required from data engineer. So we can ask ChatGPT about that. So let's try the following. What are the most in demand skills for data engineer? Let's go. Okay, so now let's check the answer. This is what I love about ChatGPT. It's not only answering our question and listing all those skills, but always it gives us like recommendations and tips over here at the end. And if I check the answer over here, as a data engineer, I can say exactly, exactly those are the skills that you need to master as a data engineer. So this is a really great way to double check your skills and you know that you are at the correct path. If not, then you have to create a roadmap to develop those skills. All right, so now let's say that, okay, I'm missing a lot of skills. So what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna start? Then ask the expert, ask the AI. So what are the three essential skills each data engineer must have. So let's see. I'm just saying all the time, true, true, true. I have over 10 years experience with data engineering and I cannot agree more. So this is really a perfect answer as an expert. So the first one is about programming languages. You should have expertise in Python and SQL. And the second one is about big data technologies because most of the projects now that needs data engineers are big data projects. So this is exactly one essential skill. And the last one, and of course, if you want to build a pipelines at data engineer, you should have skills with the ETLs processes and data warehousing. So what I can say, well done for the AI. They got it as an expert.
I really love those answers. Okay, so now let's talk about one important step in the process of searching for a new job, which is creating professional cover letter and resume. And for that, you can use the power of AI and ChatGPT in order to create it. Let's say that you are a junior data engineer and you found a job at Microsoft. Write a professional cover letter for junior data engineer at company Microsoft. I know the basic requirements for the job, but I don't have any work experience entry level. So let's see. Okay, so now let's have a look. ChatGPT created the basic layout, which is really great starting point for you. And as well, beautifully written in perfect English, how good is that? And to be honest, if I want to write this myself, it's gonna take me like around 20 to 30 minutes and it will not be perfect like this. And now we have it like in few seconds. How amazing is this? And now let's say that we want to change some information. For example, I have a master degree in computer science and I have some experience about the Azure cloud. So let's tell ChatGPT to change that. Update the cover letter. Removing that I have bachelor degree and replace it with master degree in computer science and mention that i have experience in azure clouds let's see Guys, it's pretty good. So as you can see, it integrated our wishes. We have now here master degree in computer science in the letter and as well, it integrated my skill about the Azure cloud. And you can add more stuff. For example, let's say that rewrite the cover letter to sound smarter and more excited about the job. It's really funny, but as well, it's very great. It's using sophisticated words. It is the same cover letter, but now using some advanced English words. And if you read it again, you're gonna have the feeling that this guy or girl is motivated about the job. All right, so now another thing that you can do with ChatGPT is to translate the text to different languages. So for example, let's say that this job is in Germany and you want a cover letter in German language. So let's do that. Translate the cover letter to German. Go. Alright, so now we have the same cover letter in German. I know there are like a lot of translators out there like Google and other ones that is as well based in AI, but I have the feeling that I can trust the translation in ChatGPT more. Alright, so now let me show you another fun one where we can ask ChatGPT to create a resume. So let's see how we can do that. Based on the English cover letter, write a professional resume including my skills, educations, a summary, and my hobbies. Let's go. This is really mind blowing. As you can see in the work experience, we have none because based on the conversation, ChatGPT understood that we are a junior developer and we don't have any experience. So he assumed immediately that we don't have any work experience, which is really correct based on this conversation. So let's check what do we have an answer over here. So we have like small summary. I think it's too much. We can make it shorter. And here it listed exactly those skills that are required for data engineer which is really great. And here we can be more specific in our prompts. 
where we're gonna give for example some skills some hobbies but i will not go there and give like for example the email address or telephone number or any personal informations for the ai so really be careful what you are giving here in the prompts you have any way to copy the text somewhere else and there you can add your personal informations but again this is really perfect a starting point for you in creating your resume and cover letters all right so now we found the job we have the documents the cover letter and the resume and the next step is that we're gonna go and send an application email and of course you are not alone we're gonna use the chat gpt in order to generate a professional email let me show you how we can do that so we're gonna say i found a job for position data engineering at microsoft write a professional job application email let's go I really love it. It's perfect email that you're gonna send and I'm really that you're gonna impress the one that's gonna receive such an email. But let's say it's like really long email, we want to make it shorter. So let's ask ChatGPT to do that. Simply make it shorter. That's it. Very beautiful. I think that's it. Perfect. We don't have to add a lot of information in the email body because we have all the informations covered in the cover letter all right so now let's move to the next step in the process and let's say that microsoft was impressed about your application the resume and cover letter and they invited you to a job interview so how can ChatGPT help me in the job interview let me show you what you can do okay but first let's understand this unique formula that we found it in ChatGPT. this is pretty damn good we can ask the ai to act as a person or a role to do something so the formula is act as person or role then we have a task for example act as a job interviewer and ask me 10 questions about the data engineering and another example act as a professional editor and review my book and one more that is really interesting act as an old wise man and give me the best advice in life all right so now let's prepare for the interview with microsoft using ChatGPT. let's ask the following act as job interviewer and ask me 10 questions about data engineering let's go great content really great content i'm gonna use that as well as i'm interviewing sometimes people for the jobs that's gonna work on my team so i can use those stuff as inspiration so now you can go and check those questions and if you are not sure about one of those questions you can go and ask ChatGPT to give you the answer that you're supposed to say. So for example, what could be the answer of the first question? So let's see. It's about the concepts of data warehousing. Perfect, true. And if you know all the answers and you want to practice, you can say simply, give me 10 more questions. And so on. So as you can see, now you have a smart expert with a data engineer that you can sit the whole day practicing your interview. This is just mind blowing. All right, so in the process of searching for a new job, it includes a lot of emails and communications, especially after the job interview. So what we usually do after the interview, we send directly a thank you email for the interview. So let's see what ChatGPT is gonna say about that. After the job interview, I want to thank the interviewers and express my appreciation for their time write a thank you email so let's go and see
this is really nice stuff so first we have the thank you for the interview and after that you are showing that you are impressed about the company and you are excited to be part of it and at the end you are saying that okay i'm looking forward to hear from you because now you are waiting for the response all right so there is like different emails that you can write especially after two weeks if you didn't hear anything from the company you can write them a follow-up email let's see an example i applied for a job at microsoft but i haven't received any response in two weeks write a follow-up email asking about the status of my application in a friendly and professional tune let's see Perfect. It has all the informations that you need as a friendly reminder in the email. This is really professional email that you can send. First, you give some information that you applied for the job. And second, you understand that the process, it takes some time. So this is really professional and friendly email that you can send to a company. The ChatGPT is just mind blowing tool. All right, guys. So if you are searching for a new job and you're watching my video, all what I can say is that the search process can be tough and you might get rejections so don't let that discourage you for my second job i sent over 100 applications and i think i got seven rejections for acceptance and the rest i didn't even get any answers it's really just part of the process you have to stay focused and believe in yourself especially now with the help of the ai and tools like ChatGPT, the process is really easier and faster so good luck with that all right guys i'm really interested to hear your opinion about this topic chat gpt and how you are using it in your daily basis and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye